I'm just a hobo looking for a place to sleep. Oh, jeez, the handyman! He's got bright lights. LED light fixtures stands for landfill emitting diodes. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's all about what we all expected. We all have been talking about in the comments. Here's an example. Yeah, I didn't learn from my mistakes, as you'll see later in this video. These are LED light fixtures. These ones happen to be exterior. Moving. Bye bye. They worked great, right up until they didn't. And I installed one of them for a customer, as you'll see here in the uh, in the video. Oh. They couldn't go outside and change their light bulbs when it stopped working. Um, if you're familiar with the old school ones where you would screw those floodlights in, they lasted forever. There really wasn't anything to break in there. Something inside of these has a lifespan and it's up. So this is exactly what I'm recommending against doing. Once the bulb goes out or the inside goes out, the entire light fixture has to be rechanged. I'd got this off the shelf at Home Depot. I didn't find any decently bright ones that took bulbs. This thing here is a little flimsy. Someone's whistling at me. Since this is my workshop, I can figure it out. I think it's going to go decently bright. I had a homeless guy move in just over here about three weeks after this thing went out, but he's been since removed. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Whew, yes, it's a beaut beauty right here. Oh, we're talking about light fixtures. <laughs> so I installed this light fixture for a customer, I think it was about five years ago. It was right after I installed one on my own workshop. I think I had a video about that, but um, it's no longer public for reasons that you can guess. Put your guesses down below. These lights were installed within a few months of each other and they both failed within a few weeks of each other. So as you can see, I'm installing a light fixture, kind of a basic, you know, your standard motion light fixture, but the bulbs are replaceable. Oh! Someone turn the light switch on. <laughs> Ow. And a homeowner can easily maintain this light fixture. As I said earlier, these motion lights, the internals of the motion lights, are known to last for a very long time. Now an LED light fixture, where the fixture and the bulbs are all in one unit, they're known to fail. No one knows how long. It really depends on the quality of the internal components. I bet they'd fail under an EMP attack and then you would be up the creek without a paddle and it would be dark outside. Going forward, if a customer asks me to install one of their, their purchase light fixtures and it happens to be a all-in-one unit, I'll set that expectation that, hey, you know, these things, the last time I installed them, had a, about a four-year lifespan, and then I had to come back and replace the entire light fixture. Just wanted to put that out there so that you're aware of it. When that happens, I'd be more than happy to come back and swap it out for you.
So this light fixture here, the customer actually started <laughs> to try to replace themselves. And uh, <laughs> as you can see, they, they just cut the wires. Uh, they didn't uh, undo the wire nuts, but that's about as far as they got and realized that they needed to call in a professional. So that's gotta get snugged up. This is a remodel box and there's a little spring-loaded doohickeys. That's why this is so, so loose. See that loose screw there? Gotta snug those up. It's very straightforward putting in light fixtures. 99% of the time, it's just color for color. Uh, usually the green goes to the ground, white goes to the white, and black goes to the black. Turn the light switch off. If it's a three-way light switch, it's not as simple as on and off. Uh, if there's people in the house, kids in the house, you never know when someone's gonna walk by and flip some random switch. Say, what's this switch to? No, doesn't turn that light on. Switch this one on, zap! Somebody falls off a ladder in the backyard. If you are concerned about being shocked by electricity, you should definitely go over and follow me on Instagram. It's the handy man. I'll put it on the screen, put it down in the description. Uh, there's lots of people getting electrocuted on my Instagram. Switch the whole house off. Just flip the main breaker. Don't mess around so that you don't get electrocuted. Any people uh, in their 40s out there know what this bad boy is? This is a stripped down mongoose decade and it's seen better days. Um, I've got the, the original rims up on a Schwinn Predator hanging from the ceiling there. And I got to do some restoration. I've got to get all new brake cables, tires, pedals, and I'm even missing an entire brake over here on the left side. New grips, buff it out. I've got uh, some surface rust right in the right in the crack here on the chrome. Try to do some steel wool and buff this baby out. I'm trying to get my son into riding a bicycle, and I'm cruising around on a big old fat electric bike. I need to get out on the old freestyle mongoose decade and show them what these things can do. More inspiration to pedal harder. Probably post some pictures of this on my super secret third account brand. That's most likely going to go on the Instagram. Uh, a lot of people have joined. A lot of people have just found their way over there to the super secret third YouTube channel, but I'm more active on the Instagram. Check out those links in the description if you're looking for tools. I've got a lot of tools listed down below. Cock on hats, cock on shirts, cock on sweatshirts. Everything you need to become part of the secret society is all out there. Just got to find it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Ooh, just a hobo looking for a place to sleep. Oh, jeez, the handyman! He's got bright lights! Run for your lives! Run for your lives! Oh, that handyman! I just want a bush to sleep in! And he's got those bright lights! <laughs>